Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 21 Abomination. That's exactly what the game is. Nothing short of it. In this episode of our season as Daryl, Bubba, Wallace Jr. and his number 23, McDonald's Yoder. We're going to New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the Foxwoods Resort Casino 301. Best race of 2021. People don't remember it that way, but... I guess people don't have a very good memory. Multiple three-car battles for the lead, and then a battle to the finish, and then some nonsense on lap two. Uh, but we're fourth place in the playoff projections, and fourth place in the regular standings. That just doesn't seem to change. We could fall to fifth soon, uh, because of Ryan Blaney right there. And it looks different in the playoffs, I guess, because Ryan Blaney's not actually locked in. But at the moment, we only have 10 winners. I think yesterday, our race winner was William Byron. And now we have three guys that are one win away from tying with me. Uh, but yeah, yesterday at Atlanta, we finished dead freaking last because a caution came out after I was the only guy that had pit. So yeah, we were permanently stuck two laps down. We're going to have a partly cloudy skies, a cool temperature of 70 degrees up there in the north. Uh, same visual damage, tire wear, fuel consumption, the, the NASCAR rules, the difficulty, and the assists for this episode are pretty much the same as usual. Champion, medium. I got Justin Haley's car in the background that he won with the, the night race at Daytona a few years ago. Because, I don't know, I just felt like driving that. I, I never give him any attention. This is another one of my friend Dale's home tracks. I think he goes to this one a lot more often than Pocono, probably because it's closer. And, well, me and him went to Foxwoods in Connecticut together, like, last week. Yeah, it's only been a week since that for his birthday. Kyle Busch, Martin Shrek Jr. are on the front row. They're all ready to spin into turn one. <laughs> Trackside now, where the drivers and teams are making their final preparation. Who's going to get it done today? Yeah, you saw that McDonald's car. Uh, we're going to be using it in uh, quite a few races over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to set it to, to really loose so I can slide off the corners if the front end don't want to turn, which is most of the time. Also, that Joey Logano didn't look very much at all like Joey Logano. I mean, it, he had hair. <laughs> this guy's losing his hair. And I figured he'd be wearing his glasses most of the time. I think he even uses them where he races. And th this is so nice. I love driving this car. We get to have the yellow and red text in the thumbnail. This is a 75 lap race, but, you know, 25%. I did like maybe 10 laps. Uh, like a practice run in, in the race now just to see like if this is a good difficulty for me to race on and uh yeah it's rather equal man the car is so freaking tight it's actually a pain in the ass to pass cars here and that is the end of our first lap at new hampshire and i'm having a harder time running this race in career mode than i did in the the race now and I call it career mode, but like, this isn't career. I mean, I'm, I'm just running a season mode, basically. What the heck? I can't get my car to do things I was doing just a while ago in race now. I'm driving just as good, if not better, considering the fact that I'm ready now. I mean, we're sticking with them. So there's that! What the fuck?
This game tests my patience with the car's inability to just be driven, man. Like, um, I think we have a, a lot of, of rear grip because this thing just doesn't spin and doesn't get dumped, but that's just what comes with the assist. We're up to 32nd because I really start pushing and rubbing some fenders at this, this short track that isn't a short track. Now things are single file, so I figure it would be easier to pass the cars. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're, we're destroying tires. And I'm probably just going to pit halfway because I know that this race is long enough for a pit stop. I mean, I hope it is. This is 301 rather than like a 400 or, God forbid, a 500. This is what I really want to pit because I would love the sensation of a car being able to turn. Oh, my God, it's doing this, the, the water temperature thing where it's just throwing water out the side every time I go into a corner. Um, at this rate, if they're like basically never pitting, I could probably finish like top 15 with how many cars are in front of me right now. I just have to work my way through them really slowly. I think at that point it becomes annoying to talk because like I'm trying to pass cars and there's no help, you know, to talk and rub against cars all the freaking time because I can't do it otherwise. Oh yeah, it just takes like two laps to pass one freaking car, unless I throw it into the corner and then pull up in front of them, something like this, and hope they don't pull back to my outside like that. Oh, they're all clumping back up together over there. If I push it too hard and let the car slide out towards the wall, I'll wind up actually hitting it, and I'll do the whole freaking 360 or 180, and they might not throw a caution for that because it, it's not like there's a car actually parked on the track. But yeah, you I mean, you can... Put it on the throttle early and just slide off the freaking corner. But you're trying too hard, you know, it's not actually going to work in your favor. Not to mention that probably also destroys the, the rear tires. The right rear tire, for the most part. I'm just kind of worried that we're going to have the same thing that happened at Richmond, where I don't pit because they're not pitting, and then I blow a tire. So I basically have to pit. And speaking of pitting, I, I need turn off the minimal damage repair because I don't want that to happen if I do pit. Dude. Dude. Oh, we're passing this guy. Didn't want to, but we are. Ow! Ow! Mother fuck! I don't really have any braking markers this freaking track. I would have kept those positions if I, I don't know, hit the brakes like half a second earlier. And I said, and I'm just trying not to hit the cars at that point because I completely missed the braking point. That is... Just imaginary. I kind of make it up in my head. It's like, oh, I'll just hit the brakes here and try to do that every freaking time. I have to guess every time because I don't actually have uh, benchmarks or whatever they call them. All these cars in front of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. I could get up to 19. And then things seem to, to really spread out from that point on the field. I have to drive off the track to pass the cars that are running me off the track. Come on. It seems like once you initiate the, the overtake on them, they kind of just start to let you go. But unless you get that nose ahead, you know, it doesn't really happen. It kind of feels like NASCAR Legends in a sense. Because they will not let you finish a pass in NASCAR Legends until you get your nose ahead of theirs. I think it's, this game is a lot more playable than NASCAR Legends just for the reason that, you know, you could touch a car and not just wreck. <laughs> and NASCAR Legends is probably based off the same shit as like NASCAR Racing 3 or something. Yeah, it, it's funny to think that Papyrus at one point was producing shitty NASCAR games. NASCAR Legends was a great idea, but damn. <laughs> uh, the, the contact model just ruins every racing experience in the game. Dude, I can't even push this guy out the way. Like, it's physically impossible. Racing against bricks. Like, I got a car here. Uh, it handles like a Honda Civic, but I have a car. They're driving some kind of bricks. Okay, we, we cleared ourselves into the corner. I guess that was a slide job. Anthony Alfredo into dude wipes. Oh, it is sliding off a of turn two. But up to 25th we go.
Dude, that's what I'm talking about. Four wheel slide coming off the corners. And you can make it work if you don't get on the gas too early. <clears throat> yeah, Eric Jones is 19. Oh, the four wheel slide is just getting worse and worse. I can't actually use it that well. I could have used it at the beginning, but right now I, I really can't. Dear God, the front of the car won't slow down. What? What? I don't know how I'm gonna actually slow the car down because the, the front brakes, the brakes that we have, they, they're not doing it. We're just gonna drive straight in. Uh, I, I would like to stay underneath Michael McDowell. I, I wanna stay underneath him. I, I mean, it's, we gotta go three wide to make moves because I can't pass one car at a time. That, that's, they're not letting that happen. Like they get underneath somebody and they don't pass them. They just sit there. But see, like he's not passing. He's just sitting there. So I have to make it three wide. I can't just pass one at a time. Oh, the, the slippery slide. We're getting a lot of footage in this race, but there's a lot of racing to do because we never run out of cars to pass. They're, they're staying so clumped together. Oh man, once we get past Eric Jones, we're gonna be making some big time on those. Uh, really spread out cars up there. I keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. Let me go. Let me race. Like, stop running three wide. Like, pass each other. Do something. And we're out of there. Chase Elliott's down to 16th, so he fell back at the beginning. What the fuck, man? I can't pass it. This reminds me very much of how Dover raced, like, in the sense that it was difficult to pass them because they just never gave you room there. But on fresh tires, it was, it was very feasible. And on worn tires, it was very, very freaking hard. And it just became more and more difficult. But I think as it becomes more and more difficult to actually make the passes happen and track down cars, we're, we're going to have our pit stop sooner here because it's a shorter race. I mean, it's a shorter race, but I think it's taking just as long. And oh my god, AI are so dumb. The concept of AI in general, it's like no matter how well you program them, they still manage to find some way to just be stupid in every damn game. And this one, they have a lot of stupid wit. It's like I passed the damn guy, and I just about cleared him. He gets the run off, and then he stays next to me, and he, he's not passing this guy in front of him, but he will race me. I don't know, freaking know. Okay. And they got a pack of like five cars up there in front of us. Ugh. Try to get around Ross Chastain. If I throw it in hard enough, we'll slide up in front of him, miss the corner, and then he'll do a crossover. And aside from that, I, I have to stay next to him. I have to do the AI thing where I don't pass the guy. Because that's like the most I can accomplish. Look at it slide. Like, that's the only option I have right now. Ugh. Who am I going to pit? I don't want to pit before lap 40. Because I think this race is definitely long enough. Half of 75. It's like... 37.5, so I guess I'll pit at the end of lap 38. I don't freaking know. Mm. I just need to keep it off the wall. Have I hit the outside wall at all during this race? Because I know I never did whenever, you know, I wasn't really talking to you guys. But, oh uh, yeah, we made it up to 17th in the first half of the race. That is great. I think it's better than most races this season. I think there's some scenarios where the field is really easy to pass, and that's the only reason why. But in races where it all came down to pit strategy, I think we're having that right now and doing a lot better. I really don't have much to say because I'm just trying to drive good and enjoy the video game, which is not that easy most of the damn time. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go 40 miles an hour. Why are you turning to the right? No, stay on the left and make it easy to enter the pit stall. So they're not gonna be fixing any freaking damage. Okay, at rear ended. I think one car? I grinded against a couple of them, but we only had one time where we actually rear ended somebody really hard. Maybe twice, I don't freaking remember. So at one point, I threw it really hard into turn one on accident but i don't think i actually hit them hard i think i kind of avoided that well and the other point was in turn three where i know i hit someone pretty hard okay so let's get out there 
make up a bunch of time. I don't think it's going to be really that easy at this track to pass cars with fresh tires while they're on the worn tires. Like, it's going to be a lot more difficult than it was at any other track because of how tight these corners are and just how much space they take up that I need. Oh, man. Here we go. Set it on in there. Now, because I spent so long driving on the worn tires, I'm probably going to be have a, a laid-back approach to entering the corners for a while until I, I get a feel for fresh tires again. It's, it's really difficult. That, that's one thing I feel like a lot of drivers have to adjust to is keeping in mind just how much more they can do with their car when they come off pit road versus what they were just struggling to do on the worn tires. Um, I'm catching on to it. So far I haven't had a, a real struggle to pass all these guys and make up all this time that I can before it's too late. Uh, I think I hit Austin Sindrick. His back bumper looked kind of eh. I, I stand corrected. You can drive anywhere you want to on the track to pass these guys whenever you have the fresher tires. I, I really thought I wouldn't be able to do as much with the car on, on fresher tires, but gosh, I, I could drive on the apron and still be faster than them. Oh man, I'm coming back to pass Almarola and Chastain and... Gosh, I'm passing them in one straight. It took me like five laps to pass both of these guys when we had the same tires. Yeesh! And now we're about to fly past this pack of cars that I was approaching before I took my pit stop. Am I gonna do it on top? Yeah, I could probably do it on top just fine. Busher, don't run me into the wall. All right. Oh, did I make the braking point? Oh, I did, okay. Yeah, they really have to get on the brakes early now with those tires. And this doesn't get worse and worse. Um, I don't know how many laps we lost on pit road. I'm guessing two? Uh, unless we're on, like, the tail end of the lead lap once I, I've passed all these leaders up here. Alright, well, I had nowhere to go, and that just damages the front of my car even more. How does that look? Well, oh, no, no, you, you, the driver can't actually see out the front of the car right now. Not really at all. Well, that looks cool. That actually looks unironically pretty cool. Damn, I like how whenever you get damage in this game, it affects the roof and the back of the car. I can see, on like, the... The right side of my rear end has some kind of cosmetic damage, and I don't know why exactly. Well, I've started making up positions again. Now all these guys right here are for position. So, I think we're about to get back onto the lead lap. The leader just put all these guys lap down. Um, the people in second and third were approaching them whenever I came up on them. So, who's leading this thing? William Byron? <laughs> it's Kyle Busch in his interstate batteries car. Okay. So we're going to pass him, and as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be back on the lead lap. We just have to work our way all the way back around. I can probably still get a pretty damn great finish in this race, whether or not all these guys pit, because of the pace that I have right now on fresher tires, which would 
make it kind of resemble Phoenix. I think Phoenix was longer, and they were they were a lot slower on worn tires back then before they put out a patch where like they could be a little bit faster on worn tires. Well, unless they pit, I don't think we're going to win. And we've possibly got the time. Whoa, look at that. Look at the camber on that tire. Y'all see that? <laughs> it just happened to notice coming by on the outside. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, if the leader is like after this pack of cars, then I definitely don't see it happening because... It's hard to get through traffic. You gotta change your line. I don't know whether I'm faster on the outside in traffic or the bottom. Harvick. We're actually faster on the outside at Atlanta, but they would keep cutting me off. Okay, Larson's going down to the, the middle. We got three lanes here at New Hampshire now. Though it shouldn't actually work considering that the the, the PJ1 is gone. It's not even called PJ1, but I don't know 
what what it's called now. Got some Vicks Vapor Rub on the track. We had Ryan Blaney actually trying to pass Truex, but he was trying to do that whenever I got my lap back from these guys. Damn, they are so slow on these freaking tires. If they pit, I am winning this race, no freaking doubt. But if they don't, which is fine at this rate, then yeah, we'll get second at least. I don't think it's really all that bad whenever it comes to how many cars fell lap down. I mean, 29th, 28th, 27th, 26th, 25th, and I think 24th. So like 23 cars finishing on the lead lap, unless Kyle Busch passes whoever that is up there in front of him. Uh, coming up on two to go, and he's got a little more than half a straight on us. Oh man, I'm starting to lose all the fresh tire grip that I have at this point. I mean, when we went 38 laps, we've almost gone 37. Yeah, so now we've got two laps to go. He's the next car that I need to pass. I think I got this. And I think that they're never pitting. <laughs> they're not going to pit the end of lap 75. So... I don't think he's going to pit this lap. Oh, we're right there. Right there. Oh, my God. The freaking rears are sliding. Yeah, they're, they're never pitting. We got this. We're going to win in the McDonald's car. Holy shit. I think I almost won at Dover whenever we first used this thing. And uh, I think I sent a little too hard right there. Uh, oh, my God. Still have never touched the outside wall in this race. Touched a lot of cars though. Now he's he's stuck behind Daniel Suarez. So we're gonna get our fifth win of the season before anybody else can get to their fourth win with the three drivers that are at three wins right now. And oh my god, game lag, don't you? <laughs> and we did it in the McDonald's car. I like I, I really like. Why the heck does it say all these guys are lapped down? I know they're not. They're basically lapped down until they actually finish the race. This is the logic that they use whenever the freaking caution comes out. They decide because you're not on like the next lap or some shit that you're lapped down. For some reason it's saying that Eric Amarola was the last guy to finish on the lead lap. But I swear we didn't lap Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Michael McDowell. I, I, I thought we just lapped Daniel Suarez and that was the end of the race. And now we're in victory lane. Getting a look at this trophy that's mostly real, I guess. Top of it looks kind of cardboard. With that run, we're only 27 points behind Kyle Larson now with just four races remaining in this championship of sorts. William Byron, on the other hand, we're still 60 points behind him. So I don't see us getting to second before all this ends. Third is definitely possible. Uh, Denny Hamlin, he was like three points away from losing the lead. But I, I guess he ran well and William Byron did not. So William Byron has been way ahead of us for a really long time. And not to mention he just won the race before uh, New Hampshire, Atlanta. I'll see you guys next weekend for the goal bowling at the Glen. So many road courses at NASCAR now. Um, I, I like. There's a lot of things I like about this video. Hmm. I still hate this fucking game. See you next time. That's that and episode over.